This is one of the great questions in physics and philosophy uh, is, uh, where are the aliens? Maybe they're among us. Elon know. Musk is one of the most recognizable persons in the world today. If you've heard of Tesla or SpaceX, then there's a big chance that you've also heard of its CEO, Elon Musk. One of the wealthiest people in the world, he continues to be in the news. Rumor has it that the billionaire entrepreneur helped influence the character behind the modern take on Tony Stark or Iron Man. He has also been endlessly compared with Henry Ford and Steve Jobs. Without any doubt, he has accomplished great things and will continue to achieve even more renown. In this video, we're going to talk about Elon Musk's incredible success story. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss any of the new videos we post. Elon Musk was born in South Africa. Elon Reeve Musk was born in in Pretoria, South Africa in 1971 to an engineer father and a model and nutritionist mother. He is the oldest of three children. He has a brother, Kimball Musk, who is a venture capitalist and environmentalist, as well as a sister, Tosca Musk, who is a director and an award-winning producer. His parents divorced when he was a child, and during this time, Musk lived primarily with his father. He started school at a very early age and attended the private and prestigious Waterkloof House Preparatory School, and eventually graduated from Pretoria Boys High School. As a child, he was a voracious reader and always enjoyed reading comics. He describes himself as a bookworm, and he also was bullied as a child. He withdrew socially and found solace in his many books. His intellectual aptitude did not win him any friends. Musk mentioned that he had a terrible upbringing, not because of his family, but the amount of bullying he went through as a child. In an interview, he said that he had a lot of adversity, and his growing up years were brutal and lonely. One event he couldn't forget was that kids in the school got Musk's best friend to lure him out of hiding so they could beat him up. The only thing that made his tough life bearable was technology. He was introduced to programming at just 10 years old via the Commodore VIC-20, a cheap home computer. Not long after, he became proficient and was able to create a video game that had the style of Space Invaders and he called it Blastar. He moved to Canada when he was 17 years old. To avoid serving in the South African Army, whose main duty at the time was to enforce apartheid, Musk moved to Canada and he later obtained citizenship through his Canadian mother. After moving to Canada, he went to Queen's University in Kingston, Ontario. It was where he met his would-be wife, Justine Wilson, an aspiring writer. They would have five children, triplets, and twins before they divorced in 2008. After leaving Queen's University, he also went to school in the U.S. He went to the University of Pennsylvania and took on two majors. With a fellow student, he brought a 10-bedroom fraternity house, which also doubled as an ad hoc nightclub. He graduated with a degree in physics, and he also got a degree in economics from the Wharton School. When he turned 24, he moved to California to pursue a PhD in applied physics at Stanford University. However, he left the program just after two days because by that time, the internet was exploding and Musk had plenty of ideas in his head. In 1995, he started Zip2 with his brother Kimball. The web software company would help newspapers develop a city guide. In 1999, the company was acquired by Compaq's Alta Vista web search engine for a jaw-dropping $340 million. He used the money from the buyout to create another company company, X.com. The company later merged with Confinity, and the resulting company is now what everyone knows as PayPal. Musk was ousted from the company he created before it was bought by eBay for $1.5 billion. In 2014, Musk joined Mark Tarpening and Martin Eberhard to form Tesla. Musk was integral in the design of the company's first electric car, the Tesla Roadster. Eberhard was ousted from the company in 2007 after a series of disagreements. Musk then seized control of the company, and under his watch, Tesla had become one of the most popular car brands. The company was incorporated in July 2003, but it largely remained unnoticed until July 2006 when the Roadster was unveiled. The first production car had only 2,500 units, and it went on sale in the limited numbers in the last quarter of 2008. The car's production ended in 2011. Model S is one of the company's most decorated cars and holds various titles, including the largest panoramic sunroof of any production car. However, only a select few know that the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration roof crush resistance testing machine could not break the Model S under it, so it's safe to say that the vehicle is pretty much a tank. Tesla is now one of the most valuable companies in the world and is valued at over $515 billion. Its market capitalization exceeds that of Mitsubishi, Isuzu, and Suzuki. Whether it's overvalued or undervalued remains a hot topic and continues to be discussed on various sites. It's safe to say that Musk's gamble is paying off big time. After Tesla's success, Musk set his sights on space travel and established SpaceX. In full, the company's name is Space Exploration Technologies Corporation, and it was founded in 2002. SpaceX was the first company 
to successfully launch and return a spacecraft from Earth orbit. Musk formed the company in the hopes of revolutionizing the aerospace industry. He wanted to make spaceflight affordable and reality for most people. Their introduction into spaceflight started with Falcon 1. The liquid-fueled craft was cheaper and part of its cost-effectiveness was because of the Merlin engine. While most vehicles are made for one-time use, SpaceX is focused on making reusable rockets. In March 2006, the company first launched the Falcon 1. It began successfully but ended prematurely because of fire and fuel leaks. However, by that time, the company had already earned millions in launching orders, many of them from the US government. In August of the same year, SpaceX won a NASA competition for funds to build and demonstrate something that could potentially service the ISS after decommissioning the space shuttle. In September 2008, the company became the first private one to send a liquid-fueled rocket into orbit. After three months, it won a NASA contract that's worth more than $1 billion. The company is now worth $74 billion. There is strong demand for the shares and investors are confident that the ambitious projects will push the valuation even higher than it presently is. Musk seems to have enduring success. His success continues to grow and he continues to push the envelope with SpaceX, Tesla, and a handful of other companies that he has invested in or co-founded. And what's the secret to his success? He's someone who has above average intelligence and as a child, he loved to read comic books, which mostly talk about saving the world. However, aside from his intelligence, he has ambitions and he's driven by passion. Aside from that, he also has an insane work ethic. He has a very tight schedule and often works at different locations throughout the day. One important part of his work ethic is to incorporate not only his feedback, but also that of others. He says that it's important to seek negative feedback because although it might be hurtful, you'll get a lot out of it. He constantly seeks out the best people in the industry who can provide him truthful and consistent feedback. Musk says that he reasons from first principles and not from analogy. He says that this way he builds reasoning from the ground up. He looks at the fundamentals and constructs his reasoning from there so he can see if he has a conclusion that works or doesn't. This is also the reason why, instead of buying a rocket for millions of dollars, he decided to buy the raw materials for cheap and build the rockets himself. He focuses his energy on ventures that matter. Musk has made it known, through numerous commencement speeches, that he refrains from wasting time on things that don't matter. He also doesn't do things just for the money. He has said countless times that money doesn't matter to him. People can argue that this is something only wealthy people can say, but there are still plenty of lessons that we can learn from it. He isn't afraid to think big. One of the most incredible things about Musk's businesses is just how ambitious and audacious they are. He either goes big or goes home. He already revolutionized the car industry, and now he's bent on building super fast trains and vacuum tunnels, colonizing Mars, and upending battery industries. If you don't see a common thread there, allow us to spell it out for you. He's someone who's into futuristic fantasies that children dream of. Perhaps this is because of his love for comic books when he was younger. Well, he does admit to the fact that he was inspired by the movies and books he consumed when he was a kid in South Africa. This brings us to another thing he believes in, and that is not to hold back. He says that low ambitions are drilled into most companies' incentive structures. Aiming for something modest might not get you fired if it doesn't work. However, it won't offer much of a difference when achieved. The caveat is that if you're bold and go for a breakthrough improvement and can't deliver, you're definitely going to get fired. He says this is one of the reasons why most companies spend their time and energy on small improvements on existing products, rather than daring to invent something totally new. So what do you think about Elon Musk? Do you think he's someone that other businessmen should follow suit? What do you think are his greatest achievements? Let us know in the comments down below. We'll see you again in our next video.